In this example, I need to solve for b sub 2 in the equation a equals 1 half h times the quantity b sub 1 plus b sub 2. As it gets very cumbersome saying b sub 1 and b sub 2, from now on I'm going to say b1 and b2. This equation is the formula for the area of a trapezoid. And we need to solve it for B2. Well, how do we solve formulas for specified variables? To solve a formula for a specified variable, we treat that variable as if it were the only variable in the equation. We treat all other variables as if they were numbers. So I am looking for the variable B2. How many times does it occur in my equation? Just once over here. And I think to make things easier, I'm going to get rid of the fraction before I do anything else. So what is the least common denominator? Very simple in this case. There's only one, and that LCD is going to equal 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So I'm going to have 2 times a equals 2 over 1. Since a half is a fraction, I'm going to turn the 2 into a fraction by dividing it by 1. So I have 2 over 1 times 1 half h times b1 plus b2. Now my 2's reduce on the right-hand side, so I get... 2a equals 1 times 1 times h is h over 1 times 1, which is 1. h over 1 is h times the quantity b1 plus b2. So now I've got rid of my fractions. And now there's two different ways to go from this point. I'm going to show you both ways. Method 1 isolates the quantity b1 plus b2 on the right-hand side of the equation. h is multiplied by that quantity, so I'm going to have to divide both sides of the equation by h. So I get 2a divided by h equals h over h times the quantity b1 plus b2. The h's reduce on the right-hand side. So I get 2a over h equals b1 plus b2. Remember, I'm solving for b2, so all I have to do is subtract b1 from both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, I have unlike terms, so leave them alone. 2a over h minus b1 equals b2, the variable that I'm trying to solve this formula for. So that is one method of solving this problem. The second method starts at this step of 2a equals h times the quantity b1 plus b2. So now our second method, we're going to distribute the h into the parentheses. So I get 2a equals hb1 plus hb2. Solving for b2, so I'm going to have to subtract hb1 from both sides. On the left-hand side, unlike terms, so leave them alone. 2a minus hb1 equals hb2. To get b2 by itself, divide both sides by h. The h is reduced, so I just get left with b2 on the right-hand side equals 2a minus hb1 over h. I cannot reduce these two h's since this h in the numerator is not a common factor of the whole numerator. So that is a second method of solving this problem. Both of these solutions are totally correct, and they're equivalent. 
I think you can see if you divide h into both terms here, you will land up with this expression.